Hello and welcome to the Dell Virtual Volume video series. In this episode, we'll be covering the new terminology that Virtual Volume, or VVOL, uses and what roles they play. These new terms are VASA Provider, Protocol Endpoint, Storage Container, the different types of VVOLs, and Storage Policy Based Management. Starting with the VASA Provider, which has two roles, firstly, to advertise to the storage policy-based management service the capabilities of the array, more on that later, and secondly, to enable out-of-band communication between the ESXi hosts and the storage, as not all the communication they need to conduct is supported by the SCSI protocol. Next up, the protocol endpoint. It is the gateway and gatekeeper to the array. It is where the transport protocol ends, iSCSI in the case of PS series, and turned over to the internal array communications to carry the I.O. to the sub-LUN IDs that are the individual virtual volumes that now make up a virtual machine. It is shown here from the ESXi host perspective and has a LUN ID of 257. The protocol endpoint is also where access controls are placed. These are easily managed from within Virtual Center using Dell Virtual Storage Manager, or VSM, and limit which hosts or clusters can access the protocol endpoint and the storage containers and virtual volumes behind it. Storage containers can be a bit tricky. When we look at it from Virtual Center, it looks exactly like a traditional data store, and we can browse it and see the file and folder structure of traditional VMFS. This is advantageous as it means existing workflows, e.g. placing a virtual machine on a data store, do not change. However, from the array's perspective, a storage container is something new and is best described as a reservation of space into which a group of volumes are placed, where one of these groups of volumes now represents a virtual machine. More on that later. It is important to remember that a storage container does not have any file system on it. In fact, from the storage perspective, a storage container is very much used as a folder to keep things organized. Finally, storage containers are easily created from within the vSphere web client using the Dell VSM plugin. Before we discuss the various types of virtual volumes, let's first refresh on what a virtual machine is and how that changes with virtual volumes. Traditionally, a virtual machine has consisted of a collection of files, a small VMX file that is the configuration of the virtual machine, the VMDK file, which represents the hard drive of the virtual machine, and some miscellaneous files for memory swap, logging, and locking. These files are all organized within a folder and reside on a VMFS file system with other virtual machines, which in turn is backed by a LUN on block storage. With VVOLs, this all changes. Your collection of files on a file system now becomes a collection of volumes directly on the array. The VMX log files and some other miscellaneous files are contained within the config VVOL. For each hard drive that the virtual machine has, a data VVOL replaces the VMDK file, and the VSwap file gets replaced with a VSwap volume. Because the virtual machine is now a collection of volumes on the array, a number of storage intensive tasks can be offloaded to it, like data protection snapshots and the deployment of virtual machines from templates. These now become array-based volume snapshots and volume clone operations, and can be completed much more efficiently. More on that in another video, but in short, they are completed quicker and with less disruption. Finally, storage policy-based management. Not a new term, but it has changed significantly under vSphere 6.0. With VASA 2.0, granular storage policies can now be created around the individual array capabilities that the vSphere administrator sees as relevant to their business need, rather than the previous all-or-nothing approach. For more about VMware virtual volumes on Dell storage, visit dell.com slash virtual volumes, to get hands-on with Dell's implementation of virtual volumes on PS series, access our fully functional lab at VMware's hands-on lab and search for Dell.